Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Today I want to talk to you about some absolutely critical information if you use money making applications on your mobile phone. I do apologize for my voice. I am getting over a sickness at the moment, but hopefully I should be better soon. Either way, let's kick this off. Something that we've known about for a very long time is finally being discussed on news websites, okay? So we all know about these money-making scam applications out there. While I thought that entering in your PayPal information on these applications would be a huge security risk, there is so much more going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. After you watch this video, I can guarantee you're going to want to uninstall almost every single one of these money-making apps that you have on your phone. So this is Bleeping Computer, a news website that covers everything technology related. Scrolling down their website, you'll notice the popular stories area. Here you'll see an article about Android malware apps with 2 million installs spotted on the Google Play Store. Let's go read this article together here, and then I'll break down my own experiences as well. This was posted two days ago, by the way. A new set of Android malware, phishing, and adware apps have infiltrated the Google Play Store, tricking over 2 million people into installing them. The apps were discovered by Dr. Web Antivirus and pretend to have useful utilities and system optimizers, but in reality are the sources of performance hiccups, ads, and user experience degradation. Now, here's the most critical bit. One app illustrated by Dr. Web that has amassed 1 million downloads is TubeBox, which remains available on Google Play at the time of writing this. If you guys don't remember, I covered TubeBox roughly a month or two ago. Then the article literally goes on to show the TubeBox that we all know and have experienced before. TubeBox promises monetary rewards for watching videos and ads on the app, but never delivers on its promises, presenting various errors when trying to redeem the collective rewards. And they go on to show you the actual amount of currency that TubeBox promises, plus the errors that it presents, once you try and cash out. Now, if you guys don't remember, I talked about all of this on my review of TubeBox. Even users who get to complete the final withdrawal step never really receive the funds. As the researchers say, it's all a trick to try and keep them on the app for as long as possible, watching ads and generating revenue for the developers. Now, does that not sound like every single one of my reviews almost at this point? But the next area is where things get really intense. Other adware apps that appeared on Google Play in October 22, but have since been removed are Bluetooth device Audio Connect, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and USB driver, Volume Music Equalizer, Fast Cleaner and Cooling Master. Then it goes on to show you the photos of these applications. The above apps receive commands from Firebase Cloud Messaging and load the websites specified in these commands generating fraudulent ad impressions on the infected devices. In the case of Fast Cleaner and Cooling Master, which had a low download volume, the remote operators could also configure an infected device to act as a proxy server. This proxy server would allow the threat actors to channel their own traffic through the infected device. Finally, Dr. Webb discovered a set of loan scam apps claiming to have a direct relationship with Russian banks and investment groups each having an average of 10,000 downloads on Google Play. And here are some photos of those applications. These apps were prompted through other apps, promising guaranteed investment profits. In reality, the apps take the users to phishing sites where their personal information is collected. To protect yourself from fraudulent apps on Google Play, always check for negative reviews, scrutinize the privacy policy, and visit the developer's site to evaluate its authenticity. In general, try to keep the number of installed apps on your device at a minimum and periodically check to ensure that Google Play's protect feature is active. Now, this is a really cool update here. A Google spokesperson has confirmed to Bleeping Computer that all the apps presented in this report have been removed from Google Play. And that is correct because searching up TubeBox no longer brings it up on the Google Play Store. So it's definitely been removed from what I've seen. Now, I want you guys to think about every single scam application you've installed before. How much information have they requested from you? For example, they want to know your full address to apparently send these virtual items. They also want you to play their applications as long as possible. So then you watch advertisements over and over again. Now, in the past, I thought that was just because developers are trying to rip you guys off and fatten their own wallets from each of the ad views they get from us. But now after this article has been released, it all starts to make so much more sense. 
The reason is not only to get advertisement views off you, but now there's a very high potential that these apps are actually trying to hijack your network. I highly suspect that these scam applications will also have the exact same setup as these Russian loan apps, where once they're on your phone, they will then start trying to brute force their way into your network for these false advertisement views or God knows what else. Scam applications have now taken the turn for the absolute worst on the Google Play Store and there is no sign of them slowing down. At this point, it's now become more of a security risk than ever. And my honest advice is if you have any application that you 100% cannot guarantee is legit, uninstall it from your mobile phone. This is even going to change the way I make my reviews going forward because I can no longer trust these applications on my mobile phone, even for reviewing sake. So I'm gonna have to figure something else out. But for the people that still don't understand, let me break it down as simple as possible here. Installing one of these scam applications on your phone, such as Lucky Charger, for instance, that apparently will pay you for charging your phone. As soon as it's on your phone, more than likely it's been granted all the permissions already. So this might be to your file storage, for instance. If these developers are as malicious as I think they are because they live in countries where there are literally no rules, by the way, they could start harvesting your data, including images, sensitive information, or even install key logging software in the background in the form of a Trojan virus, potentially. But not only that, but now they can use your network connection, whether it be your Wi-Fi or 4G, for whatever they want, while also promising you huge cash giveaways for watching advertisements. But all that happens is essentially you get an error and you never get that money or the free item they promise. But instead, you just watch hundreds of advertisements and make these scammers money. So there are so many ways now you guys are vulnerable out there. And at this point, the Google Play Store needs to do something. It is so sad that only a few of these applications have been removed after a news website and a virus website got involved. Just think, we're exposed to these scam apps every single day and any single one of them could be harvesting your data, using your connection for illegal activity or completely just scamming you in general. I had to make this video because you guys have to know, I'm literally gonna go on my mobile phone and remove almost every single app now. And I advise you do the same thing ASAP. Stay safe out there everyone, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I do apologize again for my look and my voice. Hopefully I'll be better soon, okay? I thankfully have some backlog going live. See you then, everyone.